If you've been dealing with large looking pores, dull looking skin, and that sandpaper texture, boy, do I have some good news for you today, because I'm going to show you how to transform textured skin into smooth skin in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. God, I love Saturday. Today's topic is a topic that's very frustrating for a lot of folks, and that is textured skin and how to improve it. So be sure to watch the entire video today because I'm gonna be giving you everything and the skincare routine to help you get that textured skin into smooth skin and nothing flat. So what causes textured skin anyway? Well, many, many things. Our exposure to the elements, pollution, the temperature of the air, the dryness of the air, all of those things actually compete for the moisture in our skin and can make our skin very dull and dry. Also, as we get older, and I feel like I say that in every single video, but as we get older, cellular turnover slows down and we get this crust, if you will. It's very thin, very microscopic, but it builds up on the outside of the skin and it does two things. One, it blocks your skincare products from working properly, and two, it gives your skin that kind of dry, dull, sandpapery feel, and it makes your pores look a lot larger. On top of that, as we get older, our hormones change and our moisture levels change and our ability to produce collagen and elastin change. And that's for guys and girls, it's for all of us. So by the time we reach our 50s, most of us have 45% less collagen than we popped out onto the earth with. The outer layer of skin, the stratum corneum, is where this buildup occurs and it's dead skin cells. Ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. And while some of those are really important to the health of our skin, trapped dead skin cells are not. So there are some pretty effective ways to improve the texture of your skin on your face and body. So let's dive right in. The first three of these I'm gonna go through very quickly because I spend an inordinate amount of time, well, I like that word, inordinate, an inordinate amount of time on the channel talking about these and I don't wanna bore you, but first is looking at your diet, making sure that it's rich in nutrients, that it leans toward veggies and leafy greens and away from processed food, sugar, and processed fats and oils because good looking skin really does start from the inside out. The other one is making sure that you get enough sleep, six to eight hours. We've talked about this many, many times on the channel, but it's extremely important that you get your rest. Your body goes through an overnight repair cycle, which your skin needs in order to replicate cells healthfully. Also making those repairs at the cellular level, which are gonna show up in your future as you look in the mirror. And the third and very important one is making sure you get some physical activity. In other words, you need to sweat it out. 20 to 30 minutes a day of physical activity improves your circulation overall, especially that superficial circulation where we get oxygen and nutrients to the surface layers of the skin. Studies have been coming out one after the other that prove over and over again that just some moderate activity every day can roll back biological aging by three years and eight weeks. So let's talk skincare routine because that is the fastest way to get improvement on those outer layers of your skin and it all starts with cleansing and exfoliation. Two very important components in your skincare routine that can make all the difference in this issue. First is making sure you're using the correct kind of cleanser. If you have dry, sensitive, dry, flaky, or just drier skin in general, we want to use a creamy type of cleanser, both for face and body, to make sure we're not stripping too much oil out and drying out the skin even further. If you have oily skin or oily to normal skin, a foaming, clarifying face wash can be very, very helpful. Just make sure your skin never feels dry and tight or squeaky clean. You need to change because that cleanser is not for you. It's too harsh and stripping too much moisture and oil out of your skin. Now let's talk exfoliation. This is perhaps the most important piece of this video, so pay close attention. There are two ways to exfoliate the surface layers of the skin, mechanically or through skincare acid ingredients like glycolic acid and lactic acid. Mechanically, you can use things like a buff puff sponge, a Goshi shower exfoliating towel, scrubs I'm not such a fan of because they can really tear up your skin and people tend to overuse them. If you're gonna do a scrub, be sure to pick one that's made with something like sugar that begins to dissolve as you use it, or plant fibers like bamboo can be very effective in removing that surface layer of skin without going too deep and creating tiny little tears which lead to inflammation and other problems you don't wanna deal with. Now, when it comes to chemical exfoliation, it's really not an accurate word because lactic acid and glycolic acid are very natural acids. They're not really chemicals, but 
that's what gets applied. I don't know why. I don't know who did that. I don't know who started that. But anyway, these can be very effective ways to help speed up cellular turnover and dissolve that bond between the old skin cells that sit on the surface and the brand new skin cells just underneath. The two top acids for this are glycolic acid, which is usually made from sugar, and lactic acid, which is made from dairy or milk. These two acids can be used alone in serums or face washes or body washes or together in some formulations and can be very helpful. I myself use Alpha Skin Care's 14% Glycolic Renewal Skin Care Serum. It's a 14% glycolic acid. And I also do mechanical exfoliation with a Goshi shower towel in the shower. So you can do any combination of these as long as you don't overdo it because we don't want to irritate and inflame the skin and there is a tendency in all of us to scrub the pan so to speak and we want gentle exfoliation and with the chemical or skincare ingredient exfoliation process that's going to happen over a number of days and weeks. Your skin will get better and smoother and healthier and take on your other skincare products and the effects of those that you need for like hyperpigmentation, age spots, all of those things will respond much better to your products after proper exfoliation. Now I will put links for suggested products and the ones that I talk about in today's video down below in the video description box so you can check them out when we're done. But if you have very sensitive skin and you just can't tolerate skincare acids, then there are other methods that may be helpful to you. One of those is dermaplaning or shaving as it should be more accurately called. Dermaplaning as such is an in-office procedure done by a professional with a scalpel across the skin to remove that very outer layer. They know what they're doing. A scalpel is very sharp as you might imagine, so you need to be careful. However, there have been home shaving devices that do essentially the same thing. I've been experimenting with one of them. This is Stacked Skin Cares dermaplaning tool. I will be doing a full review video on how to do dermaplaning facials at home. So if you're not subscribed, now would be a good time to do so. Now beyond mechanical exfoliation and skincare ingredient or chemical exfoliation and things like dermaplaning, you can obviously go in for in-office treatments like a true dermaplaning session with a scalpel or other things like chemical peels. Some of these professional chemical deep peels can go quite deep and remove years of photo aging, but we're not done because what's really important is once you get the exfoliation process going is what you put on your skin afterwards. So using lotions and serums that also contain lactic acid and glycolic acid can help speed up the process again of this cellular turnover we need and really smooth out your skin. Not only does it smooth skin out and get rid of that sandpaper texture, it brightens and evens your complexion on face and body. So if textured skin is a problem that you deal with ongoing, be sure you buy products that are labeled for that. And again, I will put some recommendations that are very good that I've tested here on the channel down below in the video description box so you can check them out. And of course it wouldn't be Chris Gibson and the Chris Gibson channel if I didn't bring up, you need to protect your skin from the bad, terrible, awful, long-term damaging effects of the sun. It's imperative that you guys protect your skin with an SPF 30 or higher. 50 is not really necessary. In fact, it leads people to think that they're more protected than they are and they don't reapply it. 30s are perfectly fine, 30, 35, 45. Chemical or mineral, I like mineral better. The bottom line is please protect your skin from the sun because none of the things that we do None of the things that your dermatologist does, none of the things you're doing at all mean anything if you're gonna allow the sun to penetrate and damage your skin over time. And for even more ways for you to de-age your skin, be sure to check out this video coming up next. It's gonna help you get your best skin ever. Thank you guys so much for watching today and supporting the channel. I love you, stay beautiful, and I will see you over on that next video.